How come boomers and a lot of millennials have so much trouble understanding Gen Z? Is Gen Z really leading us into the future or are they just messing everything up? Welcome everybody to the Hot Pop Boys. David and Andrew here. We have a fun list for the people today. Here are 20 things that we hate that either were produced by Gen Z or just commonly associated with Gen Z. Not necessarily they created it. All right, everybody. So let us know what you think in the comments down below. If you agree, disagree, have fun with this list. Um, please hit that like button and turn on your notification bell. And let's move on to point number one. The number one thing that we hate about the current Gen Z situation hate it, hate it. is just that every single software program or app is subscription based. And then on top of that, there are microtransactions. Bro, I think I have like 50, 60, 100 logins. You got to log in to do anything nowadays. And I probably am paying monthly for a bunch of stuff that I forgot about. You're probably paying monthly for a password manager just to manage your 100 logins of apps where you got the premium hinge and then you got to buy roses. Who knows? All right, point number two, another thing that we don't like right now is TikTok guru culture. I mean, I think that there's a much lower barrier to entry in platform tools. That means that you can just shoot and edit everything on TikTok. That's good and bad, right? The good side is you hear from a lot more people. The bad side is you hear from a lot more people that are not necessarily willing to put in the work of making a highly produced video. Dude, you're such a YouTubist, bro. For real, for real, you're a YouTubist. <laughs> uh, moving on to for real, for real, uh, TikTok busting, busting, on oh God, keep it keezy, no keezy, whatever. I'm not even saying it right. This broccoli Number cut, three, David. We're talking about the broccoli cut. The broccoli cut, everybody has it. You know, you got the fade on the sides. You have your perm, your curly hair, however you did it, whatever. If it's natural, not natural. It's just, I've never met, now I have no problem with, all right, kids having this, obviously, but I just never met anybody who told me anything very, very important who had this haircut. I felt like it came from OBJ, but OBJ had it first, right? But only you had to have curly hair to do it. So people just started putting the curls in their hair artificially, obviously. Um, it's really funny. There's a lot of really funny memes about it from the finance world. Like the interns be like, yo, this financial model's bussing, bussing on God. Point number four, just people are not interacting with enough different types of people in person, or at least having deep conversations. I just think obviously social media, it's a great place to have thought provoking conversation, but you're not, you're not really going to solve anything in the comment section because that's just going to really mess with your emotions. Yeah. I don't think there's anything that can beat IRL, AKA web 0.0. .0. There was 1.0, 2.0. Now we're in 3.0 with the metaverse and cryptos and NFTs and things like that. Let's dial it back to 0, .0. I don't know. All right, point number five. Another thing that we hate right now is that grind hustle culture. Um, I don't hate grind culture. I don't hate hustle culture. We know Gary Vee. We had a meeting with him about doing something that was very much like big mogul minded, big money, big business. But at the end of the day, I think it's just weird to assume that everybody's meant to be Grant Cardone, Tony Robbins, build a hundred businesses. That's not even sustainable in the society. And everybody feels like they need to do that. People are going to do shortcuts and scams and rug pull and this yeah, and that yeah, to, yeah. to try to be uh, everybody. Oh man, if you're not worth a hundred million, you not, that's not true, bro. That's yeah. not true. Yeah. Like, I feel like the desire to be an entrepreneur, it's been so glorified, which excuse me. Gen Z's fault. So I think like the whole idea of becoming an entrepreneur has been so glorified that everybody's trying to do it by all means necessary. But man, I mean, some people still need to go to college, okay? I think a lot of people need to look at being an entrepreneur as well and not just an entrepreneur, their side hustles, et cetera, et cetera. Moving on, number six, dating apps and hookup culture. Andrew, has it ruined the modern long-term romance? Listen, all I'm gonna say is about dating apps. We all use them and we all hate them. Okay, I've never met anybody who's like, oh, I love being on blah, blah, blah. Like, no, we use it. It's effective to an extent. You meet people, it's true, but I kind of hate it. I mean, I just think that it's weird that that's the way where modern society has shifted towards. And if we just have to accept the pros and cons. I don't know what happened to meeting people at the club. Moving on, number seven. I think that right now, the discussion around mental health and trauma culture um, it could use some more refinement. I think that people who really have real trauma and real mental health need even more help, right? Um, people always say, oh, we need to destigmatize it, but what are we gonna do once we've destigmatized it? Yeah, I, I'm not- a, Where are the systems? No, no, I think that people should talk about it more, but not just like 
tell people they've self-diagnosed themselves like for, you know, whatever, whatever. I'm like, yo, listen, if you need help, there's a lot of resources and, and people should provide that for people and people shouldn't be ashamed of it. But also just like, just don't do it for attention. And I think right now it's like weird because for millennials and especially boomers, if they were at like a low level of depression, maybe they would downplay it to say, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, right? But right now there's a sense of like, you wanna go um, round up, where if you're at a low level of depression, you might say, I have a medium or high level in your own self-diagnosis because that's like the trend, that's where the culture's at, that's where the music's at. Um, point number eight, I hate it when people say things like, oh, I'm losing all faith in humanity or oh, all people suck. I'm like, dude, most people who are saying these types of things and yeah, maybe there are more comments on the internet that I find annoying, but I'm like, you probably haven't done that much in life to even say that and you haven't tried to fix humanity either. All right, you're saying, what makes you 17 year old from the internet? Uh, what makes you so nihilistic? I saw a bunch of stuff happening to cats on the internet and I'm losing faith. And honestly, and you know, a lot of people are gonna take this the wrong way. That's one thing I didn't really like about everything everywhere all at once. I just felt like the daughter was not being grateful because it was like, they just made the parents look like, yeah, it's true. Running a laundromat, it's not gonna make your life tight for the most part. But at the same time, it's like, who are you comparing it to? You just have to understand your parents sacrificing. and they're just trying to make it like a life as like a, immigrant without other cards don't lose faith try to improve faith in society i don't know all right point number nine david everything being such a vibe it's a vibe bro this is a vibe this taco is a vibe this girl is a vibe this guy is a vibe i think the boomers actually refer reference it's a vibe by saying oh that tickles my fancy <laughs> different strokes for different folks i mean i just think it's like to me when i when somebody says it's a vibe i'm like is it like high key and lit and hype or is it low key and chill and vibey to make it a vibe i have to guess what's your vibe we, i have to guess what's aligning with your chakras or your frequency because because isn't there good vibes and bad vibes so if it's a vibe it's just one or the other so <laughs> <laughs> yeah if you're around a evil person and they say it's a vibe it just yeah they just know what that means all right um point number 10 People getting so caught up in following, muting, restricting, unfollowing me, follow me back. Guys, this is something that obviously is launched with the social media uh, times. Maybe it's not just a Gen Z thing, but I've had Gen Z kids come up to us and be like, yo, phone bros, follow me back. And I'm like, okay, well, well, why? Like, do you got like, well, you, know uh, you got some content I should follow? You want, what, what you want me to look at? You know what's interesting about the follow is it's a little bit like MySpace back in the day where, you know, you either had to accept the friend request or not accept the friend request. But now it's like a one way thing where they're almost more like following the page, your Facebook fan page, but you're not necessarily following them back. So I think people just wear, feel it like it's a badge of honor or clout chasing or whatever like that. But at the end of the day, why would you deserve a follow if your content is hollow. Hey, but if you do got content, let me know. Um, point number 11, David, virtue signaling with zero follow through. Yeah, I mean, I think there's so many things going on in this world that we're aware of, guys. For the longest time, there were so many injustices going around the world, but obviously due to the flow of information and social media and things like that, people were just simply not aware. Now you can repost to say, man, I am aware of this injustice happening to this group somewhere on earth, on this globe, so here's to show that I care that gives you virtue, right? Cause you're a virtuous oh. person. Cause you care about things that aren't directly related to the inner circles of your life. But are you actually doing something to impact that? Are you going to donate money? Are you going to double check the, which yeah. uh, charities are legit that I actually have the real impact? Which ones are not legit? And are you actually going to contribute your time and your efforts and, and go deeper than a repost? Yo, I hate to say this, but the way that the previous generations, even before the boomers have set up the system is that you have to vote for things still in your local or national election. Boomer. More of your local Boomer. guys. I'm telling you, you have to go out and vote. These the, the social media posts are not a vote. They do nothing. All right. Uh, point number 12. Um, just nobody caring about privacy anymore. I just see so many people kind of like exposing their friends or exposing themselves or screenshotting uh, conversations that probably don't even need to be sent out. I just I just think there's a sense where people are like, well, if we're all exposed to everybody else, then there's not gonna be any problems in the future. Yeah, I think everybody's a savage. Everybody's on demon time. Everybody's like trying to do everything to everybody. And um, I don't know, it's kind of funny to me because I, I see so many things that are said now that 10 years ago would have been unsaid. You know what I mean? Because people were like very cautious about saying things, but I don't know, it's 50-50. Maybe, like you said, if everybody's so savage towards each other and everybody's dirty laundry is out there, then nobody can judge anybody in the future because everybody's dirty laundry is like just aired out. Everybody's even. All right, um, point number 13 is like 
the current woke culture. It's not to say that I hate being woke or like I'm not woke myself to many different extents, but just like kind of where it's at right now. I think that basically I understand why people want to be woke right now and I totally understand the need for it because there's people that are very much outside the center of power, right? Where like uh, they're on the margins, they're disenfranchised, they can get picked on, they can get pushed to the fringes and their voices can be unheard. However, is the goal to replace the people in the center of the solar system or is it to reorient the solar system? What would that take? What type of teamwork and unity would it need? Or are we just like Pluto crying that it's not near the sun and the sun doesn't care about Pluto? Point number 14, uh, another thing that we're not really feeling nowadays uh, is the insanely huge pumped up lips. Now, there's nothing wrong with having enhancements to make yourself feel better or look better. Are you better. hating on Kylie Jenner? Nah, man, I'm just, I'm talking about those gigantic lips, like the ones that kind of look like ducks. All right, guys, moving on to number 15. Uh, this is not like necessarily blaming it on Gen Z, but kind of blaming it, I guess, on technology where everybody has electric vehicles now and they are speeding in the bike lane. Guys, I, I have a scooter. I'm a proud scooter rider, driver, whatever. But then like, I think people are just zooming in the, in, in the bike lane too much without regard for other people. And I wouldn't really say this is a Gen Z thing, but it's just something that's like coming along as Gen Z is upcoming. There is generally a disillusion uh, of public decorum. You know what I mean? And it's not that we have to be like rich people in England or Japan where, you know, it's so ultra ritualistic and proper, but we can't be speeding 60 miles opposite way in the bike lane in a motorcycle. Crazy. To see it in New York City. I mean, it's just like, come on, guys. Like, can someone put a camera on somebody? Uh, number 16, another thing that uh, bugs me, I guess, is just the insane filters, man. I'm not going to lie. These filters on IGs, they're impressive. They make you look really, really different. They're really, Dude, really advanced. You're such a boomer, bro. We're all about the catfish. Dude, bro. I'm not saying I'm, lit. I'm not saying I've been catfish and my heart has been broken so many times. I'm just saying, uh, every photo has a filter now. It, it's crazy. Imagine if you could look like your filter easily. By the way, you actually can look like your filter. It costs about 100 k and some <laughs> of the best surgeons and other people in the world. Um, Point number 17, just everybody kind of like doing a lot of drugs and it being very normal. I guess maybe I'm a millennial. I come from that time where like, it's not that nobody did drugs, but it's just like, you just kind of did it like under, you know, like did it low key. And, but, but now people just like, oh man, they're treating them like it. it's Amsterdam. Yo, you want, you want, you got some Danny's, Addies, why don't you just do this? I mean, just pop that, blah, blah, it's, blah. it's difficult to say because to be honest, and I, I know that a lot of people are like, oh, why are you going to say this? But like we, our parents come from East Asia. East Asia has probably some of the strictest drug laws on planet earth. So I, I don't know. I, I just think we could tone it down. Guys, we're talking about putting chemicals in our body. I'm not saying that people are not doing it and doing their research and doing their DD, whatever. I'm just saying, yeah, the last pill I popped was a Pepsi AC to uh, manage my red Asian flush. That's all. Um, point number 18, um, there's just no moderate or middle ground when it comes to politics right now. Everybody's just in the left or right. And that's kind of where we stand is like, I feel like there does need to be more moderate voices. I'm not saying you have to be smack dab in the middle, whatever that means, because yeah. the middle can change. You don't change. always want to feel like you need to center yourself or triangulate yeah. with what previously exists on the political spectrum. Maybe you want to create your own geometric plane that completely doesn't intersect. Uh, point number 19, guys, something that bugs me is Gen Z clumping millennials in with boomers. I am not a boomer, but I had some kid leave a message once and was like, all right, boomer, okay, boomer. And I was like, hey, 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 man boomers are my parents i'm the millennial yeah i mean i just think that gen z is right now is like because they're on the wave and they're more social media native they like have more cultural power than they do have real power it's weird because boomers and maybe even people that are like pre-boomer almost like quasi world war ii people actually still run a lot of the deep-seated systems uh in america but also globally but then internet wise the um gen z rules because they're more like internet native and more meme native so you've started to see a bigger disparity between who controls the memes and who controls the actual like green in terms of money you know jerome powell doesn't know what a meme is you know what i mean like trump and biden they're both like 80 so it's like it's it's such a weird space in society right now uh and finally everybody point number 20 that we don't like about the current climate is that everything is an ad yeah, 
I mean, uh, we do not have a band drop in this video, guys, by the way. I mean, I think that right now, there's so much content that's being created and to monetize the content, you have to throw an ad on it or otherwise, what's the monetary model unless you're selling merch or like, like to point number one, microtransactions and subscriptions on a, on a premium or like, who knows, man? You well, know, you only know, fans, nah. you, it's not just for like adult material. Maybe some people got like just interesting stuff on OnlyFans, maybe. Yeah. And I, even though we don't have a sponsor of this video or yet, maybe we will later, but uh, there's ads in this video. You know, I put ads obviously on this video through my YouTube app. Yeah, so yeah, obviously, yeah. And you I know, know there's a lot of sort of dystopian future things in uh, Blade Runner and things. Minority like that Report. That are, uh, they're going to scan our retinas and then uh, customize an ad boop, for us. Beep, boop. It's already happening. They're listening to you through your phone, I think. All in all, man, these are just 20 things that I think are different than they were like 10 years ago or 20 years ago. It doesn't mean they're better or worse. I think that um, it's just something that's like interesting to talk about right because culture changes society changes and perhaps culture and society are changing andrew at a faster rate and ratio than they ever did prior yeah i mean i think it's okay listen i know that the world changes but that doesn't mean you have to buy into everything that changes but you also don't want to just sit back there and complain and be mad and be this old grumpy person so i would say listen for anybody else out there who agrees with some of these things you know there's things you can do about it there's things that you know don't like the world you're not bigger than the world you know but you can do your own part if that's I how you feel. I think that there is an argument f moving forward for centralization around somebody that somebody trusts. I know Facebook tried to do it for all the logins at one point, but then people sort of lost trust in Facebook. And maybe it'll be Apple. You know yeah. what I mean? Because Apple, it's weird because Ant Apple's very centralized, but it's like one of the few companies that people are like, they're okay yeah. with it. Yeah. I would just say, ending it off, man, if there's any problems or things that you want to fix in the world, make sure you are talking to real people face-to-face -face, or at least face-to-face -face over Zoom because I feel like that's how problems really get solved. You know, that's just my opinion. And I, I'll, I'll I know you. you had, to be fair, that. You, you are a big I, fan I, of the IRL. I always say that. Um, yeah. Anyways, guys, let us know in the comments down below you what you think about these points. You agree, disagree. Are we boomers? Are we millennials for even making this list? I don't even care anymore, guys. I know I'm not fully a Gen Z kid. I, I'm not. I'm not. But you let us know. All right, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for watching the Hot Pop Boys. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.